Hi everyone, today we're going to be using the Protein MPNN model on the Neurosnap platform. So if you don't know, Neurosnap is a platform where you can get easy access to a bunch of different computational and bioinformatic tools and services all for free. And in this case, we're going to be using Protein MPNN, which is an inverse folding model. So essentially what an inverse folding model is, is you give it a protein structure and then after it will try to predict different sequences that actually fit into that structure. And this is really useful for a lot of protein design stuff as well as for enzyme engineering. As generally speaking, proteins that have similar structures tend to have similar function as well. So today we're going to be testing out the 1BTL protein from the PDB, which is a beta-lactamase protein. And the chain to remember is chain A, because that is the main chain that we're going to be redesigning slash inverse folding. So we're going to upload 1BTL over here, and we're going to specify chain A. And we have an option to fix positions. So if you want to do enzyme design, then maybe fixing the catalytic residues could be something that's useful. In this case, we're just going to leave it as is. We have the number of sequences that we want to sample, 50 is good, and the sampling temperature. So this is something you can tweak around with, 0.1 is usually a very good number as well. And then after we have different versions, this is typically the best one. And in our case, we want a soluble protein. So we can use a soluble uh, weight, and that will essentially help us uh, design more soluble variants of that beta-lactamase. So now we're going to run the job. And after about uh, you know three to five minutes, hopefully we'll have our result. And I'm going to restart the video then. All right, so we're back with the results. As we can see, the whole thing took uh, a bit under a minute, and this table over here is the most important thing. So it has all the different sequences that we inverse folded, and the best one is gonna be rank one over here, and it's from best to worst, and the way that that's determined is by the score column metric over here. So the score is basically a protein MPN metric that tells us how good a sequence is according to the model. Generally, values that are lower to zero, or sorry, closer to zero, tend to be better and uh, result in better predictions. We also have the pairwise sequence identity to the sequence of the protein structure if you're interested. And we also plot these metrics over here so that you can check them out. Lastly, we have the amino acid probabilities. So these are basically the probability of amino acid sequence at a given position. And we also have the unconditional uh, probabilities, which don't factor in the sequence. So these can be used to uh, interpret like what an optimal sequence would look like. So yeah, this has been Protein MPNN on the Neurosnap platform. We have a bunch of other services. And if you want us to cover another service or if you want us to add something to the platform, feel free to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, feel free to also check us out and tell us if you uh, want something added.